coming to you. I'm Ebony Bates. Hey, it's Mohammed here. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marty. Right on. Marty, Marty, I think was going to jump off today. I'm not too sure. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to throw a curveball. So, you know, we come to you every day and we, or every week and we do a market update. You know, I would like to do a market forecast just for fun today. So, uh, 2021, let's, let's do a market forecast, crash or boom. Marty, you go ahead. 2021 crash or boom. Oh man. I mean, I think we're, in the boom now so if i had to i'd say crash i don't know if the boom would still be able to maintain i think um there's going to be a lot of factors in it uh interest rates are going to be a factor uh disposable income is going to be a factor for, for, uh, and so yeah i think we've been in 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 a boom now for a couple of years so 2021 might be might be the bust. Muhammad, what do you think, bro? Last right. time for the round table, I threw out a lot of economic indicators, one of which being the unemployment rate. We also talked about the uh, the election and its potential impacts. I agree with Marty. I think that we're heading for a bit of a uh, I don't want to just say crash, but I think we're heading for a correction for, for next year. I think the severity of that correction is going to hinge upon our politics. So depending on how the election turns out in November, I think that's going to have a serious impact on um, policy that's going to either soften the correction or, or exacerbate the correction. And that's my general thought on the matter. But uh, I think unemployment, like we're looking at a, a, a rough flu season, which is going to compound COVID, is going to have an impact on the economy, employment, businesses, things of that nature. I think commercial is going to suffer uh, more than residential. I think residential, you're going to see a big uptick in, uh, in, in, in foreclosures. However, I think the thing that's going to mitigate that you know, whether you can call it silver lining or not, is the demand is still so high that I think the absorption rate for those foreclosures uh, is going to help to stabilize the market. That's not going to necessarily be great news for people who lose their homes, but generally speaking for the market, it's going to provide some stability. Just my thoughts. Those are all, yeah, really thought-provoking thoughts, you know. Um, <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's really for me, it's, and that's why I actually, you know, bounce the ball your way because I, it's like, is it going to be, you know, it's like, is it a dystopia or a utopia? And it's so close. We're, we're just so divided and we could go either way um, uh, in my mind, because if there is a vaccine that actually works, um, there's a lot of pent up, um, I think a lot of pent up just business, just buying power in general. Now, there's a lot of hurt as well, but the stimulus packages have helped. They've worked um, quite a bit, and if they can come up with another way to just kind of get us past the hump until we can get a vaccine, we may be able to, you know, kind of avoid, a, I think, a big crash that everybody is anticipating. Um, I'm going to say that we're, we're kind of – I'm going to, I'm going to call it, I'm going to say it's not going to be a, a, a total crash. Um, but I think that it's going to be more of a boom. Use the than correction. Have... Use the word correction. Not a crash. It's a correction. It's a, it's a <laughs> correction. And I don't think it's going to be as bad as, as, as people think. And I think to your point though, Muhammad, it's going to depend greatly on the policies that are put out. Um, so more to come. I think, you know, this was, this was actually a fun topic and, you know, I think there's still some life in it, so we might need to come back to it in a couple of weeks. But uh, but for now, I think uh, everybody, we're good. I think we all gave our forecast, so we'll see who's right in a few months. All right, we're gonna put any money on it, or we're we just gonna like uh, wait and see. Gonna, uh, any any bragging rights up for stake? Hmm, I like a good bet. <laughs> we'll 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 divulge the uh, the. Uh, the parameters or the terms of the bets later.
I we'll think make, that'll we'll make probably it easy. take We're, some time. You got realtors on. You know there's got to be a negotiation. We'll, 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 put, we'll put a team dinner on it. Like, whoever loses is buying dinner for the team. <laughs> like, we'll go out and, you know, we just pass the check to whoever loses. That's that's how <laughs> we'll settle it. <laughs> Keep it friendly. Keep it, hum- <laughs> Keep it humble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. We're the Bates International Group. Check it out. Have a good one.